I got saved in uh, January 2007. You may ask, saved from what? Simple answer, I was uh, saved from the wages of sin because the wages of sin equals death. This is how my story kind of unfolds. My sin separated uh, me from a uh, holy God. And pretty much I needed a savior. So one day um, I was uh, I went to school at uh, Bowling Green State University. And uh, I was I was at uh, Offenhauer dorms, and then my uh, my bro Alan, he was uh, praying, and then man, when he was praying, I just I just felt I felt the Holy Spirit just tugging in my heart. Just pretty much bringing me to tears, and I just knew I needed to to change how I was living because back then I was pretty much just living for myself. You know, I pretty much just did you know whatever came to mind, whatever made me feel good. That was my life. Pretty much had uh, no purpose. But, of course, as the story continues, I remember uh, after he was done praying, I went out in the freezing cold and, uh, and called uh, my mom. Because I didn't really know what to do after that. I knew I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. And, you know, what was next, pretty much. And then I just remember, you know, my mom, you know, telling me to, uh, to confess with my mouth and to, uh, to, uh, believe, you know, what, uh, Jesus did on the cross. And that he, he, uh, died. And that, of course, he rose again. And if I truly believe that in my heart, you know, I will be saved. And then I did that, like, in the freezing cold, on my flip phone. I remember on my LG flip phone, talking to my mom, freezing my hand off, lip was cold, tears was freezing. But I just remember, you know, praying to the Lord on the phone with my mom, and then just having a, a joy and a peace, you know, right after that, you know. I didn't have this weight, you know, on my shoulders anymore. I had no weight on my shoulders. I had, you know, nothing to prove. You know, like I remember, you know, I always seemed like I always needed, you know, acceptance, you know, from people and stuff like that. That was gone. You no, know, I didn't have to, no acceptance. My identity, my true identity was a, uh, was in Christ from that point on. You know, it wasn't in the world anymore. You know, the world wanted, wanted me to be this, the world wanted me to, to be that, but my identity was in Christ. And from, from that day on, from that day, I've been uh, serving, I've been serving the Lord, you know, just by his grace. You know, I 
I'm uh, I'm able to share to share my testimony. So, Phil, were you listening? Were you listening to my uh, testimony? This is uh, God's plan for my life. He has a plan for you and a purpose. Okay. I love you.